The tennis focus is firmly on Melbourne, with the big guns at the former home of the Australian Open for the Kuyong Classic, before hitting the blue courts of Melbourne Park next week for 2013's opening slam. I'm feeling in good shape at the moment. It's a, a big challenge playing, playing the Australian Open after winning the Grand Slam a couple of years ago, but uh, I know it's tough to, to repeat, but I will try, like always. It's always fun for me, obviously, playing in Australia and... Um, getting the opportunity to play big tournaments in front of my home fans and uh, you know the support I've always got wherever it is in Australia is amazing. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's hard to beat you know, playing a night match at the Australian Open in front of 15,000 people barracking for you. So um, yeah, it's something that I've really enjoyed and I guess yeah, even towards the end of your career it's you know, moments like that that you're going to miss when you do retire. Japan's Kai Nishikori battling a knee injury, but with happy memories of a breakthrough quarter-final showing at the Asia-Pacific Major last year. Uh, things changed uh, after Australian Open last year. Uh, you know, they see me different and uh, my ranking goes up and, you know, everything changed uh, in my country. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's good, to, good to feel that way and, you know, not many people uh, can feel like that. So I'm having fun and... You know, hopefully my ranking goes up uh, more. The absence of Rafael Nadal opening up potential possibilities for most of these players. He's a great player. We are we are you know missing him for already a couple of months, and uh, or our sport missing him. And uh, I mean, there is so many other other great players, you know, which which you can meet since the first rounds. Yanko Tipsarevic hoping to go better than countryman and neighbour Novak Djokovic, trying to emerge from a huge shadow cast by the world number one. I'm not even number one in New Belgrade, which is a part <laughs> of town where we both live. So, you know, obviously Novak is the best player in the world and I'm aware of that but I don't at least I try not to think that uh, I am in anybody's shadow. And Canadian fans will be very happy big serving young gun Milos Raonic is vying for this year's first Grand Slam title playing under the banner of the red and white maple leaf after a quirk of fate almost saw him becoming an Aussie. It's actually a funny story we had friends here when my parents were looking at uh, where to move to and the immigration papers here were much longer <laughs> than uh, Canada's one page. So, you mean you uh, could have been playing Davis Cup for us? <laughs> Gee whiz. This was, uh, so it was only one page and my parents didn't speak any English so <laughs> that's, that helped uh, Canada's case a lot at that moment. The Australian Open starts next Monday.